what's up everybody it's curly girl likes and welcome back to my channel this is one of the most amazing washes i've had in a while in my hair right now for product as far as product i do have the kinky curly not today along with the gel if you've seen my videos before about kinky curly i told you about how this is one of my favorite duos this one goes on freshly conditioned hair the slip is great. It's so very moisturizing and all of that. But once you go to refresh, it's not really the same slip like talking about. But I love this combo and it definitely lasts me for a full week whenever I use it. I did do something different this time. So this time I did put this on and I let it sit for like maybe I want to say like two or three minutes before I decided to put the gel on. And I feel like it really got to penetrate a whole lot more than it did before. My curls were really, really just soft and just like it was just so... It was prepped, honey. It was so prepped. And then I went in with the gel. Just like all the other times, the gel instantly, it felt like as if it like closed my cuticle. Like it just, my all of my curls went into the freezer and it was like instantly frozen. Like <laughs> Such a quick drying effect. I'm going to show you guys real quick my wet results versus my dry results. As you can tell, my wet results versus my dry results, my hair, it's like that effect just kind of just like went out the window. My hair just, you know, it went to soft definition instantly. So it was like, it doesn't even really matter that it had that drying effect because my hair turned out really good and it's really moisturized right now. When used in combination with the Kinky Curly Gel, it does elongate your curls. Now, it did elongate my curls. Before I scrunched out the crunch, my curls were very tight, but now they are very elongated and they are so soft. It's, I mean, it's so soft to the point where it literally feels like marshmallows, like no lie. It's so very moisturized and I could just literally comb my fingers through my hair. You may want definition or you may want just your hair to be really moisturized. Now, if you just want your hair to be really moisturized, you don't really care for the deep definition and for the big volume, then I definitely advise this combo because honey, my hair is so moisturizing. I don't care. I'll keep it in a pineapple. Like <laughs> my hair is moisturized. That's the only thing that really matters. Now I've tried the kinky curly with a ton of different things with the curl magic stimulator from Uncle Funky's daughter and the gotta be the finding a uh, cream from Eve Eva NYC, which I'm gonna do another video talking about that wash day that I did as well. Even when I apply it with the Myel, it just always goes on smooth. It always makes it, you know, I never have that drying effect, but it's only when I use it in combination with that drying effect. All that moisture you left, all that moisture in your hair, it kind of just freezes it instantly, which I ain't mad at because, I mean, I could live with curls like this every week. This is just everything for me. Like, I love moisturized, shiny, healthy, finger detangled already curls. Like, that's just it for me. It's causing me to touch my hair a lot. And touching your hair a lot will definitely mess it up. So I need to stop. But it's like, it feels so soft. And I'm just like so happy. I just want to be like, you know. <laughs> You know, but don't touch it. Try and keep your hands off. But who am I to judge, you know? Who am I to judge? So for the shampoo and conditioner, I did use the yellow, not your mother. Now, I love this yellow, not your mother. I love it. Like, I really do love it. Out of all of the other ones that I've tried, this one, I have to say, is by far my favorite. This is the Royal Honey Kalahari Desert and Melon Repair and Protect Shampoo. It helps to repair and prevent signs of damage. Um, I love the shampoo. It's very, it's a very moisturizing shampoo, which is awesome, which is great. The conditioner is not like the best conditioner in the world. It doesn't just like deeply penetrate or anything like that, but it's a nice like to get, you know, the rest of the tangles out and then to move on to your deep conditioner. I don't have any more of the conditioner. I ended up using it all. I have to get some more, but I'm going to link everything down below so you guys can check it out as well. Deep conditioner. I did use the main choice anti-breakage antidote. Is that what it's called? Your yeah, anti-breakage and repair antidote hair mask. Now this is my new one that I got for Christmas. I already used up my old one i love this mask like this mask honestly replaces the manuka honey mafora oil mask for me like i really do love this mask it makes my hair so moisturized so shiny just this and the combination with the shampoo and conditioner and all the products and the pre-poo let me how am i about to forget about the most important part i did pre-poo my hair and i haven't pre-pooed my hair in a hot minute but i used to love pre-pooing my hair because it made my wash day so much simpler it made me lose less you know less hair in the shower it just made everything so much better and run by so smooth but this time i did use aloe again you guys now if you've seen my last aloe video um aloe video and if you haven't i'm gonna drop it down below but it was not a great success like the aloe i just applied it wrong i put it all in a blender and then i just applied it all to my hair rather than just focusing on my scalp and that's where i think i went wrong this time i looked on youtube i followed a natural i think it's natural 85 i hope i said that right natural 85 if you have no idea who i'm talking about melissa down below but she's also the creator of melanin hair care at ulta the way she cut it was really interesting and i was like okay i'm gonna cut it like that and i'm applying it just to my scalp so that's what i did i ended up cutting it just like she did and i just applied it to my scalp by second 
section by section. I had four sections. I had two right here, two right there. And I just made sure I got every inch of my scalp that I could possible. And whatever little bit of access, I kind of smoothed it down on my hair. Then I wet my hair with a spray bottle and I went in with some oils. I added some Jamaican black castor oil, some argan oil, and then I added a little bit of vitamin E skin oil. Then I also put tea tree oil on the bottom of my hair as well with the little excess aloe. I did use, I used the tea tree, Jamaican black castor oil, argan oil and then a little drop of the vitamin e oil i loved the tea tree because it kind of just made my hair my, my scalp feel like you know a little tingly which is great which is nice you know i love me some tea tree back in the day i used to put tea tree drops in my spray bottle and i loved how it made my hair smell I just put that in i put that in the plate along with a little bit of aloe i kind of just rubbed it on my hand and i kind of rubbed it through my hair with applying water make sure you apply water when you apply the oil because you don't want to trap in you know dryness so i let that sit with a shower, a shower Cap on my head for a whole hour for an entire hour now honestly i feel like next time i want to try like two or three hours because i feel like that hour really allowed it to soak into my hair strand so by the time i went to go get in the shower my hair was so soft it was so moisturized like it was so detangled and just my curls were all just like super tight super small and it just made my shampooing easier. It made my conditioning, deep conditioning product of, um, you know, applying. It made everything so much easier. But as you could tell, I have like zero to no frizz. My curls are just really super, super defined and moisturized. Maybe a little bit over moisturized. I probably overdid it by doing, you know, um, the oils with the pre-poo and then deep conditioning as well. But I just love this and I love that aloe pre-poo. And I really do think I'm going to be incorporating that into my routine every week if possible. I don't know if I'm going to overdo it by doing the aloe every single week, but I really do want to try and incorporate that every single week because that pre-pooing really just help with the hair. And then it's just the natural ingredients really helps with the scalp and then my scalp. So so I really do want to keep doing that, but I definitely love this whole watch that you guys, like I said, I'm gonna link everything down in the description down below. So if you guys want to check it out, also, if you want to check me out on Instagram and follow your girl on Instagram, I'm gonna link that also down below and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And if you want to turn on your post notification bell, so you know, you're gonna be here for another story that I got for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.